this time of the year, the New York Giants and the Washington Redskins are as synonymous as eggnog and office parties. Where you find one, you usually find the other. In the past decade, the Giants' success has been mirrored by Washington glory. Two Super Bowls for each franchise. Domination of the NFC East and the devotion of their fans. But now, as those memories fade, together they share the pain of rebuilding as a losing hangover carries into the new year. But with it comes hope of resurgence. It's cold. It's dark. It's December. It's the Giants and Skins next on Fox. It is cold. It is December. It is Giant Stadium. Few empty seats, but getting ready to battle in the NFC East as the Washington Redskins have come up the coast to take on the New York Giants. And the tight end is Scott Galbraith. First play of the day is a play action. Schuler trying to outrun Harrison. He cannot. Brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And for Robert Harris, that's his fifth sack of the year. One of the things through the Redskins. hole knocks him off, and Corey Widmer is able to make the tackle. Now second down and goal after a loss of two. Schuler sacked. Hamilton falls on top of it. His second sack of the year. The, the, the Redskins play faked the same play, that same running play that they were so successful with against Dallas, the same play that the Giants stopped on the previous play. Giants defensive back showing great discipline, covering up Schuler's receivers, and then Hamilton showing great perseverance getting to the quarterback. Second New York sack here early. And on third and goal from outside the 10, Schuler's going to put it up. Sacked again, Strahan. Strahan did that two times last week against the Arizona Cardinals, forcing Dave Craig to fumble the ball. Joe Patton, the left tackle, should have known that it was coming, should have known that Strahan was going to rip up, race around, and get to the quarterback. That's a nice emergence play for Michael Strahan, a guy who really is starting to develop on this Giants One defensive for three ball. right now. We saw a nice block. But he had a mental error on the penalty and a mental error on the sack. Brad Del Wieso will try a 37 yarder to put the Giants on top, and he is becoming one of the best in the NFL. So Del Wieso is good, and the Giants take the lead here in the first quarter. Pay attention early. This might be a quick game. Each team keeping it on the ground, and late in the first quarter, the Giants lead by three. Well, as expected, into the second quarter, we're tied at only three. Not a lot of points today. And a lot of the running game for each side. Eddie Murray sent to kick it away. With the wind, able to get it just inside the 10 to Thomas Lewis. Has blocking, is across the 35, outrunning Eddie Murray. Thomas Lewis. Inside the 20, Stanley Richard, the only man to beat. Touchdown, New York. No flags. And the Giants take the lead. Talk about redemption on the football field. You won't see any better redemption for a player than this run by Thomas Lewis. A 90-yard return after he fumbled the punt. He got his hands warm, got the sensation, got nice blocked from his return team. And then he's got guys to beat. And watch the effort by the Giants. Look at these other guys racing downfield. Herschel Walker, 34, really springs him with the block on Stanley Richard to get him into the end zone. Stanley Richard was the only guy who had a chance to shut him down and Walker blocked him. So our first touchdown of the day 
from Thomas Lewis on the kick return and down we so punches the extra point through Thomas Lewis second year player from Indiana special teams will play a big part in the final result today so far the Giants winning that battle because he you know he won that sportsman of the year award in 1979 is that how he got in on it might very well be. Right. third down and 12 and Schuler on a slant picked off you talk about it, it happens. Tito Wooten back inside Washington territory and out of bounds at the 40. That's just another bad pass by Heath Schuler. Now, what North Turner did is Schuler started hitting the tight end. He started hitting the ball off the tee. So North started to send a slow pitch at him because now he's throwing an intermediate route to Henry Ellard, and Ellard just can't make that ball. It's thrown too low and too far behind him and just Ellard's attempt to catch the ball bounces it up right into the hands of Tito Wooten. Wooten with a 35 yard return and now the Giants have excellent field position at the Washington 40. The Only 11 three. tackles a week ago in Dallas will now into the wind. Brad Del Wieso will try a 43 yarder. Giants leading by seven. Low snap. Good kick into the wind and perfect. Dalwiso, who has one of the strongest legs in the NFL, is good from 43. And the Giants lead by 10. And Dalwiso makes that kick in part because he keeps a very low trajectory on the ball. We talked about Dave Brown knowing this stadium and knowing this wind. Dalwiso knows it too. And he knows, as we said earlier, the higher up the ball is kicked, the more the wind is a factor. Giants and Redskins. Well, now this Washington Redskin defense is put to the test. Well, North Turner told us yesterday they're playing with more confidence than he's ever seen, and this is a true test. The Giants really looking at about five, six more yards to have a realistic chance for a Del Wieso game-winning field goal. Brown to throw. Deep. Touchdown, Callaway. No flag. from Dave Brown and the Giants regain the lead. What, what a wonderful pass by Dave Brown. It's almost like he was dormant the entire game and then when everything is on the line and the time is running out, he finds Callaway with just an exceptional downfield throw. And again, they were looking at only five or six more yards to get into field goal range. And the Giants open it up with the wind. 40 yards to Callaway. And now Del Wieso to tack on the extra point. That really was a daring pass and a daring play to call with the free safety sitting right there in the middle of the field. They went for it on fourth and one. Full of plays later, 40 yards into the end zone to Callaway. Now Dave Brown's offensive line does an outstanding job. Callaway sells the outside route. And then that you, you just can't place that ball any better than that right there. Watch the protection. Dave Brown unmolested. Callaway separating himself and then maintaining his concentration despite the fact that Carter comes up over the top. Look at those guys work. Talk about hogs. The big blue hogs came through on that play. Tom Carter trying to come over the top. Couldn't get there. Brown to Callaway for 40 yards. Chris Callaway had zero catches until the last drive. And he came up with two catches for 56 yards. And the touchdown. He told